Do you have any sense of how many of those machines there are here in, in Africa? I mean, are they a common thing to have in a hospital? No, they're not a common thing. Um, you would have to have the personnel who obviously can operate them before you would pretty much budget to buy them. Um, I would say the majority of those machines reside in South Africa, and there's probably a few that are scattered across the rest of Africa, but all in all, I would say probably less than 50, maybe less than 60. And what about in the U.S.? Most uh, hospitals would have one? I would say so. Probably easily a thousand of them, I'm sure. So just give me a brief sense of what this machine does. I mean, we saw you in action in the operating room the other day. Okay, and flow down. Okay, flows down. You are basically operating a machine that acts as the heart and the lungs of the patient. That's correct. It keeps the patient alive um, in the moment-to-moment -moment needs of uh, oxygen and removal of carbon dioxide and uh, keeping the patient warm are my responsibilities. While the surgeon can cut and sew and repair and stitch and do things that are necessary to make the patient's heart in a better uh, state when they leave the operating room. So I take care of, of their life, essentially, and the surgeon is taking care of, of the heart and the aorta. And at any moment, he can give me a special request or a command to use the heart-lung machine that benefits uh, what he's about to do with his surgical technique. Okay, stop. Pumps off. RT cannula is out. Thank you. That's pretty high pressure. At times, yes. At times. This patient's life is in your hands. Mm -hmm. And one little, I mean, you're, you've got lots of dials going on there. You've got pumps going on there. You never freak out? There are moments where uh, it's uh, um, at the edge of my sanity or the edge of my emotions to, to maybe have some sort of emotional outburst. But I'm a pretty good actor inside the OR. And uh, what I've found over the years in my experience is something that relieves the tension is some sort, sometimes self-deprecating humor. Uh, upon yourself will ease the tension of everyone around you, even if it's a difficult moment, so. 